I'm using another avatar that I made in Pot Tropica's mobile app, and having her stand in between these knights somehow makes her seem like royalty. Hey everyone, how are you, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome for the first time. There's a full moon out in the red sky tonight, so I'm glad you can make it. Last week, I made a video about a horrendous politician that's running for governor in my home state and how his proposal will be a disaster for the education system if elected. I'll leave a link to it in the cards and I implore you to check it out before you go out and vote. That right as an American citizen is crucial. It's fitting that tonight we're keeping the educational theme going by paying a visit to Time Tangled Island. It's one of the more educational islands in Pop Tropica where players immerse themselves in select eras in world history and meet historical figures. It's more hands-on than some boring simulator, so you're not going to sleep through this one. Now let's get going. Her Royal Highness requests you board the ship. She's come to haunt the Green Menace. I'll deal with that later, if there's time. Okay, back in the world map again. There we are, Time Tangled Island. A malfunctioning time machine has messed up history. Go back in time and set things right. Because if you don't, who knows what the future will hold. And now that's not going to be a boring storyline. this little crab. Clicking on it makes it squint. It's a little entertaining, but not so much for the crab. Something's wrong over at Pend Pendulum's lab. Something's wrong over at Pendulum's lab. Is that how the name is pronounced? Hmm, that can't be right, but not really hard to nitpick on grammar. I'm just going to relax a little because the video I made last week did take a bit of a mental toll on me. So in a way, Pop Tropica is a guilty pleasure. Party Time Tower. Is that like a counterpart of Chuck E. Cheese? A little detour won't hurt. more of a sci-fi and time themed. It's 2 a.m. or p.m. according to that clock. Clock though, it's actually 9.34 p.m. at the time of this recording where I am now on a Saturday night. Oh, it would be super funny if I came back to this room on October 21st and the clock struck midnight because that's when Taylor Swift is going to release her latest album. I already pre-ordered the Three special editions: the Jade, Blood Moon, and Mahogany, along with the Midnight, along with the Midnight Vinyl Clock Kit. I'm looking forward to putting that together. It's going to be a fun project. Now to see myself out and see what's wrong at the. Hey, wasn't didn't that guy look different before? Something's wrong over at Pendulum's lab. Okay, no more delays. We're checking it out. Help! Something terrible has happened, and now the future is in peril. Please come in. Let's go. Good thing I have this battle axe handy. Oh, look, you can twirl. And she's cr this assistant is crying because something bad has happened. Oh, jeez. Jeez, I didn't know she had the ability to float. After, looks like whatever I did apparently activated, caused the time machine to activate. So here it's a future machine. Please help us. A malfunction has mixed up the past and all the future is in peril. This printout will explain everything. We're counting on you. 
machine printout. That's a bit of pressure to put on me. I only got here a few minutes ago. Mission printout. A malfunction has mixed up objects in the past and placed them in the wrong time periods. Now the future is in peril. You must find a way to travel through time and locate these objects and return them to their owners. Start by using the future machine to check on things in the future. The world is counting on you. Well, you know what Stewie said on Family Guy, you can't alter the past. Well, then again, he altered the past all the time, so who is he to talk about it? What is this thing? This machine will transport you 50 years into the, into the future. Why would I need to the, visit the future? So you can see the outcome of changes made in the past. How do I operate the machine? Power it up, then step inside. Already did. And 50 years in the future would be... It's currently 2022, so if I do... 33, 43, 53, 63, 73... Holy moly, it's gonna look different. Way, way different. This is going to be what the Earth will look like if global warming continues and we keep using fossil fuels. Looks like a nuclear apocalypse. Oh, look, there's an older... There's a... There's a homeless person that looks just like my avatar. It's obviously me and it's obviously her in the future. Each other. She's either picking up trash or trying to use a stick to walk. From the looks of this terrain, it looks difficult to navigate. And uninhabitable, that's for sure. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Something happened in the past that ruined mankind's future. Can you turn back the hands of time and make things right? Forgot to turn the sound on. Who would have thought? Not that I really care for it anyway. I always just play music on YouTube whenever I play Pop Tropica in high school. It's what made the game more entertaining that way. For example, when I played Shark Tooth Island, I would often play the Emerald Coast theme from Sonic Adventure. If that definitely made the island a lot more fun to navigate through and it became one of my favorites from the classic era. Who are you? I'm you, but 50 years older. Yep, we already figured that out. So, I'm 28 years old, so in 2073 I would be 28, 38, 48, 48, 48 68, 78 years old. Assuming I'd still be alive by then. What is this place? This will be our future if history is not restored. Or if we keep using fossil fuels and letting the, U the war in Ukraine carry on. Or if Trump were elected president again. Please don't cancel me. Can you help me repair the past? Take this time travel device. Now hurry, our future depends on you. I prefer to call it a time turner. Though, a time turner works very differently from this pocket watch device. It sort of works the same way. Return to me when the past has been restored. It's gonna look a lot different then. In fact, a lot better, so there's no time to lose. Okay, this will return me to the present. The year changes. The year changes. Ev the year changes as time goes on. So when I first played Time Tangled Island, it was 2011, so... 
Seven, and when I revisited Time Tangled Island about a few years later, more like seven or eight years later, it was 2018 AD, which is kind of, which would make sense because the future, because the future would look, in real life, would look a lot different than how it would look in, once the past is restored here, if that makes sense. So, the first place we're going to visit is... 328 BC in ancient Greece. You can't go inside. The letters are written in Greek, though I can't really read it from up here if I have to keep jumping. Stay back. We can't trust anyone near the treasury anymore. So this is the treasury. Did something got stolen? What are you doing? Regarding the treasury, we don't want anything else stolen. There you go. Something was stolen? The prized golden vase is gone. Oh no! What can I do to help? If you return the golden vase, you may talk to the oracle. Courage is the first of human qualities because it is a quality which guarantees the others. Makes sense. Greetings, stranger. Welcome to Delphi. That's what I thought because that guard said something about an oracle, so... Since this is Delphi, since we're in Delphi, I'm guessing this is the Oracle. The Oracle will only talk to those who donate to the treasury. Know thyself. Neat. Sound effects and music should still be working. Now we have sound. Ugh, I feel so stupid. I didn't know that Google Chrome disabled sound on this web page. I felt completely... Uh, I feel completely dumb. So... But at least... But at least you don't have to hear me talk for the rest of the video. I mean, I'm still going to be talking, but at least it won't just be my voice, but rather this music. And birds chirping. Oh, what do we have here? A phonograph. This appears to be a phonograph, a device for recording and playing sounds. I need to. It was the first device. It was the first iPhone. Words I spoke in the original phonograph. A little speech of practical poetry. Mary had a little lamb which speaks quite as slow, and every word that Mary went, the lamb would surely go. Did anyone hear what he was saying? Because I couldn't make out half of it. But I'm still impressed how Pop Tropical is able to implement a sound from a phonograph. Let's pay a visit to 1519 AD next. That's in the Aztec era. He's committing espionage, isn't he? It's a conquistador that's, a, that's in league with the con that's in league with an army army that's going to invade invade the city and bring doom to the Aztec civilization. The 
queen seems worried about something. Did something else get stolen? Who are you? I'm the queen of the Aztec Empire. Called it. Is something wrong? The king is upset because a piece of, from the sunstone has disappeared. What can I do to help? Find, find out what happened to the sunstone. Got it. Human sacrifices, but only the skulls are preserved. Definitely not creepy. Welcome to our great city, traveler. It's an honor. Okay, your guards don't really seem all that welcoming. I just have to speak past them. That easy? I don't understand why we can't fight enemies directly in Pop Chop like that. I mean, uh, my avatar has a weapon, so she should stand a chance. That's one of the few criticisms I have about the game. Did you see what happened to the Sunstone? The gods must be very angry. Yep, no joke. Who are you? I am the king of the Aztec Empire. Yeah, we already know that. Is something wrong? A piece from the sunstone has disappeared. How can I help? Find and return the missing piece. No problem. I was already given the task by your co consort, but I'm on it. Ouch! Oh, you're gonna get it now. See? I can twirl. Now bring it, punk. Ouch! I wasn't ready. Ow! Ouch! Don't you just love how you can just get beaten up in this game and not get bruised and sore for it? Glad I'm not injured. I'm meeting my avatar. I can see her now from around here. Watch out for the guards! Thanks for the tip. Wish I came to you before I ran into them because I had some cuts on my arm. Well, not really because I can still jump twice my height. I'm too old for this. You're young. Here, take my warrior mask. Wow, the gender equality in the civilization is awesome. You'll make a good warrior with that mask. Headdress will make you look like an Aztec warrior. Now I look unrecognizable. Now I should be able to blend right in. I like your mask. Thank you, I. Thank you, your mentor lent it to me. Hello, fellow, fellow warrior. Check out this cool mask I found. These are goggles, though I'm sure you don't really know what they are. You can keep that weird mask I gave you. Thanks. Doesn't seem very interesting to you. Oh, by the way, there's a concrete concrete that was spying on you. Not showing aggression, which is kind of a good sign. Should I be concerned? Anyway, not my problem. Let's go someplace else. One, three, 1,387 AD. I'm in Africa tell from the drums and it's the drum beats are catchy you're not from around here are you welcome to the Mali Empire won't be needing this mask now she looks like herself again that was close not gonna take, take chances fighting that snake it's by axis ineffective against it 
This merchant looks like he's in despair. Who are you? I'm just a poor trader. Ah, so close. What are you doing up here? I came to Timbuku to trade, but I can't find the salt rocks I bought. Hang on, what would you do with salt rocks? Salt is valuable here. Losing that bag is a big loss for my family. That's terrible. I, I forgot that salt rocks were used as currency back then. In fact, just about anything unusual could be used as currency back in the day. Gosh, it's been so long since I went to took history courses that I forgot that people bartered. If you're looking for the document merchant, he's inside the inn. Hope the concepts stayed the same. More or less. My pet snakes are on the loose outside. Watch out. Thanks for the tip. I don't see any vacancies available. Hello, stranger. Welcome to Tabuku. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, let me know in the comments. Just looks like a hangout. And technically, that's what an inn is there for, but an inn should also be a place for people to stay when they're traveling. Or I just want to get away from from the burden of life every now and then. Um, pardon me. Greetings. Would you like to see the documents I'm currently trading? You seem most interested in this foreign document. But I see you have no money. However, if you can help me, I will give you the document you seek. Thanks, that's very generous of you. Can you piece this painting together for me? It's the Declaration of Independence. How did it get there? It obviously has something to do with the time machine, with the accident in the lab. Which is how... Which is probably how the piece of the sunstone and the vase from Delphi must have gone missing. I played a similar game to game to this back when I played Art Rages in elementary school, only that there was a time limit for it and there were a lot more pieces, the puzzle was a lot more complicated, and I kept failing at the minigame. That's the vibe I got. That's the vibe I'm getting. But the instrumentals also remind me of the... of... of the, a Bionicle game I played on the Game Boy Advance. This is more simplistic than I thought. I kind of just like how the piece just puzzle just assembles itself after a while. Though it still looks incomplete. Now the pieces are coming together. No pun intended. On to go, and we're done. It's the portrait of the great king, Mansa Musa. This is wonderful. A promise is a promise. The document is yours. Thank you. And just as I suspected, it's a rough draft of the Declaration of Independence. I know where it goes. So let's go to 1776 AD, 
back in it during the, um, when the American Revolution has taken place. And there's the familiar patriotic music. Ooh, porcupine's also deadly, but I'm not going near that. When I took U.S. history in community college, I wrote an essay that got a B-plus about George Washington's biography. I'm hoping to revise it at one point and make a video about it. So, yeah, so if you guys want to see that in the future, please let me know. I, it's one of the proudest things I've ever done in my life because after reading the biography we were assigned to read about George Washington, to read about George Washington, I felt like I couldn't relate. I felt like I couldn't ask for a better historical figure to relate to. And that's what made the assignment more engaging. It's because I saw myself in George Washington. I'm Benjamin Franklin. I wonder what's taking Jefferson so long in there. Has to do with the rough draft going missing, I'm sure. I'm gonna explore the rooftop first. Aha! There's the salt rocks that Merchant was looking for. Keep saying Merchant is the traitor. Watch out for the spikes, I almost landed on it. Then. Enter! I'm Tom John Adams. We're in trouble because Jefferson has lost the decoration. I'm John Adams. We're in trouble because Jefferson has lost the decoration. Why are you calling him Jefferson instead of Thomas? You're a good friend. Not of the homiest of places. Weird history fact, while traveling Benjamin Franklin slept in the nude with a traveling par partner that's male. No, no homo. <laughs> My U.S. history professor told that story one day and the whole class was cracking up hysterically. But it was one of the best, it was one of the most memorable moments I had of taking that class. Though that room could be more sanitary. Who are you? I'm Thomas Jefferson. Yeah, I gathered. What are you doing here? I just completed a draft of the Declaration of Independence, but it's disappeared. Oh, no need to worry. I have it right here. Thank you. You saved the future of this nation. I'm proud of this moment now. It's a good thing you came along. Benjamin Franklin's gone. Never seen a colonial town look so homey before. Ouch, just supposed to touch the spines, but none get stuck on me. Where did Benjamin Franklin go? Where's... Ouch! Weird how I just entered. But, anyway, I can see that everybody's gone, so I'm just going to go back to Africa and return the salt block. Sir, I found your salt rocks. Thank you. I was afraid my fortune had been lost. It's all good. Thank you. You saved my family's fortune. 
The honor is mine, sir. This looks fun. 1593 AD. This must be where the Great Wall of China is being constructed. I played this before, so that's how I can tell. We mix sticky rice and lime together to make mortar for the wall. It's amazing how it could stay intact to this day. Gunpowder. That could come in handy later. Be careful, this is a construction zone. There's a brick falling, so I'll keep that in mind. Like the amulet I'm wearing? You can win it if you beat me in a simple memory game. It doesn't look like it belongs in this era. Remember the position of this tile. Okay, watch closely. Now show me where the tile is. Oh, that's easy. It's right here. Lucky guess. Here, take the amulet. The amulet has the shape of a hammer. Nothing unusual there. Whee! What are you doing? I'm supposed to send smoke signals to the other towers. That's how they communicate. You look concerned. I am. I can't find my stone bowl. What would you do with a stone bowl? I need it to make smoke sniggles. Without it, I can't warn the others that there's danger. Which means if I don't find it, the Huns will invade China and Mulan would be helpless. Anyway, perhaps I could find it in 1805 AD. Lewis and Clark. That looks peaceful. Oh, that was rude. Who are you? I'm Captain Marithwella Lewis. What are you doing out here? We're on an expedition to the west, and we've, but we've lost our peace medal. Why are you stopped here? We dare not continue into Indian territory without a peace medal. Right, because a peace medal show a peace medal would show that the would show that the pioneer that the pioneers traveling west will show the tribes that they mean no harm. See, it's not supposed to be why are you stopped here, it's supposed to be why did you stop there? Why, or why did you stop here? It just sounds weird that way. Who are you? I'm William Clark. Hi William, nice to meet you. What are you doing out here? I already know the answer to that question. We're exploring the Missouri River on its course to the west. Why did you stop here? Our peace medal has disappeared. You want to offer it as a gift to the Indians. That's thoughtful of you. I'm Tuasin Carbonier, an interpreter and a cook. They brought guides with them to help so they could communicate with the Indians effectively. In other words, they served as translators. I'm Sacagawea, Cherubino's wife and interpreter for the expedition. She's also good with navigation. She's... I'm York, Clark's servant. Let him know if you see a silver medal lying around. I will. It looks nice to swim in. It's a little chilly to go on it at night. But I can't hang around for too long. The 
timeline's still in peril. Quack was here. How'd he get up here? There's the smoke sinkle bowl. Got you! Thought you could get away, you little chipmunk? Maybe it's a groundhog. Mm, I'm too sleepy to tell. Now back to China. Barely hit that brick. Wow, our avatars in Pop Tropica should be a Olymp should be Olympic gymnast. There you go, I have the stone ball. Thank you. Now I'll be ready to send smoke sig signals when needed. Now all of China will know the Huns will be are invading. Thank you. Now I'll be ready to send smoke signals when needed. Now to go to... 1877 AD and let Mulan take it from here. Charming! Music is charming. Welcome to Edison's workshop. Music is charming. You like that motor wagon? It was shipped here from Germany. Oh yeah, I like it. It's very innovative, quite innovative. If you're looking for Thomas Edison, he's inside. The earliest car. Back then, this was ingenious! To drive is ingenious! Without that doohickey, there'll be no Mario Kart. There's that- there's that piece of the sun circle! Kill two birds in one stone. I'm killing two birds in one stone tonight. This is wonderful. <sighs> Just like a cat, I always land on my feet. Listening to that music makes, makes me feel like I'm watching a silent movie. Welcome. Please be careful as you view our current experiments. Duly noted. If you're looking for Edison, he's up one level. It's too bad I can't take the stairs. I can always jump. But I hope I don't break anything. Who are you? I'm Thomas Edison. I'm an inventor. Nice to meet the guy who invented the light bulb. It's an honor. Is everything okay? My photograph is gone. It's an important invention. I need it back. I mean, well, you can have it. It's... You can have it. I couldn't make out anything this... I couldn't make it out. I was so worried. Thank you for returning it. You're welcome. If I couldn't find it, you could always just... You could always just invent it again. Why is it floating? Is there anything else you need? I'm all set. Thanks for returning my photograph. You're welcome. What is a photograph anyway? It's an invention of mine that records and plays sounds. You mean like an iPhone? Well, you can't really play the audio here anymore. Can't really play the audio on that anymore, though it'd be a nice feature. Excuse me, I've got a lot of work to do. Well, sorry to disturb you, I'll be on my way. 
Now back to now back to the acid test. My cherry red lips are back. You can keep that weird mask I gave you. It's nice to see that you recognize me. It's nice that you see that I'm no longer a threat to you since I don't have my mask on. Even more, I, it's even more concerning that you don't didn't think I was an imposter when I wore that mask. I mean, me. I mean, how is it that hard to tell the difference? Is it you're like Mr. and Mrs. Poe? There you go, Your Highness. I have the sunstone piece. Thank you. We will remember you forever. Nice to be immortalized. Tell me about the sunstone. It is dedicated to the sun god Tanahu, who keeps us from catastrophe. Hope he'll protect you from the invasion from that conquistador is plotting in the corn stalks. Is there anything else you need? You've restored the sunstone. What else could I need? Another defender against the potential invasion? Feeling better? Thank you for restoring the sunstone. My pleasure. Now let's make our way to 1882 AD. Boy, boys do over. Lumber. I'm in France. We don't have much to do. Work on the statue has been halted. That sucks. Who are you? I'm Alexandra Gustav F. Eiffel, the engineer for this project. What are you doing? We're building a great statue to give to the Americans. How is the construction going? We've got a big problem. The study model has disappeared. Can't you just create another one? There was a journal up here. I'm gonna make another attempt to grab it. Gadget, Guthier, et C. Gadget, Guthier, and C. Not much of a translation. Okay. I'm gonna try again. I'm um, on the count of three. One, two, three! really make it easy to do long leaps. I'm gonna try one more time and then I'm gonna visit another era. Fifteen sixteen AD. That's Leonardo da Vinci's time. the same music but with different instrumentals. I like it. Welcome to Close Blues Mansion. Welcome to the Close Blues Mansion. 
I could just hum this song on my way up. There's a strange object just hanging from the bottom of the deck. I'll go get it. Why would it let me me? Why would it let me jump? Ugh. Either I'm tired or the game's bugging out. I'm gonna try something else. Now I'll get that object. Now I think I'll be able to fetch it. Peace metal. Good thing I can land on my feet. The words peace and friendship have been engraved on this metal. Must be the pet peace medal that Lewis and Clark are looking for. You should go return it to them. I found the peace medal. Excellent. You must have keen eyes. Thank you. I try. Is there anything else you need? No, thank you. We'll offer this medal as a gift to the Nez Perce Indians. I'm gonna try to return to this. Um, on second thought, I'll go to 1953. From the looks of that gear, we're heading to... Shit, Mount Everest. I definitely didn't come dress warm. I envy my own avatar. I can't even go outside in the autumn without a coat on now because the air is getting colder and the leaves are changing color. The autumn leaves are pretty, but the air isn't. Edmund has lost his climbing goggles, but this Aztec soldier gave it to me. You might find the story strange, but I'll go right over to him and hand it to him now. Who are you? I am Edmund Hillary. What are you doing up here? Tenzing and I are climbing the sl to summit the of Mount Everest. Hey, I didn't read that right. I'll try again. Tenzing and I are climbing the summit of Mount Everest. See, there's the problem. The two is supposed to be a the. But I'm rambling. I found your goggles. Thank you. Now we can continue climbing.
Doesn't Tenzing have another pair you could borrow, though? I mean, how... What kind of person only brings one pair? Who knew the study model, the Statue of Liberty, is up on the summit? Wow, the view from here is amazing. I'll bet. I can't believe I'm finally here at the peak of Everest. I couldn't have done it without your help. Thank you. The reality is I could freeze to death dressing that lightly. And they didn't bother, and they didn't bother packing up their tent. They didn't disassemble it. Well, then again, the summit wasn't far off from there. Now to go back to 1882. And return the model to, and return the model to the architect. Enter. Bartholdi is distraught. His study model is missing. Bartholdi is distraught. His study model is missing. Well, not to worry. I... Not to worry. I found it on Mount Everest. But then again, it's... You'll find it unbelievable anyway. Original model? Who are you? I am Frederick Auguste Bartoli, sculptor of the statue. So it's not an architect. What's the matter? My original study model is gone. I must have it back. There you go. My study model. Thank you for returning it. No problem. Tell me about the study model. It's the, the original sculpture I made as a reference for the statue. Lady Liberty, a symbol of freedom that we take for granted. And we probably won't have in the next five years. I hope not. Is there anything else you need? Thank you for returning the model. You saved this project. And hopefully I'll help save the, this country's future. to make another leap of faith. That was weak. One, two, three! Got it! This notebook contains a lot of inventive drawings. It must belong to a certain artist in Italy. Maybe it's Leonardo da Vinci's. I'll go check. Looking for Da Vinci. He's up on the top floor. So 
such raw imagination and potential. His models could be used for a lot of good. And there's the Mona Lisa. Hmm, would be better if that fate, if the fate, if the face retains its original allure. I mean, it was on display in early Pop Tropico, so what's to stop? So what's to stop the developers from putting the same exact painting on that canvas? Who are you? I am Leonardo da Vinci. I am honored to meet you, sir. I am honored to meet an excellent artist and and an imaginative inventor. What do you do here? I'm an artist and an inventor, but I've lost something important to me. Is it this notebook? Because I have it right here. Thank you. As a reward, you may take this prototype my, of my latest invention. Thank you. Is there anything else you need? This notebook is all I needed, thank you. Besides George Washington, Leonardo da Vinci is also a historical figure that I want to make a video about because much of his light, early life has been scandalous. For example, he had been arrested for sodomy with another man at one point, but he... I don't remember what happened, but he, but he's been acquitted. acquitted. It's a tragedy that it's a tragedy to be gay in an era where it's illegal and is punishable by death. Why the air? This fits my avatar quite well. Or at least my early interpretation of her. Now let's go back in time to 831 AD. Not a good time to go swimming, better get out. Better get out quick. If we don't find that amulet, we'll be stuck here forever. What amulet? I'm tired and wet. I want to get off this island. What's wrong with this island? Well, it's good that you're just trying to wait out the storm. So I... So... So camping out on that island is a wise decision. Not in the mood to put on a viking suit. It's just not my style. What are you doing here? We're on a voyage of exploration. We landed here to wait out the storm. Good idea. Is something wrong? We've lost an important item. Without it, we dare not face the sea. You must be referring to the You must be referring to that necklace. yours. Thank you. The powers of Thor are with us again. I have a feeling it was Thor. Is there anything else you need? Thank you for your help. We'll set sail first thing in the morning. Hopefully you can when the hopefully you can when the storm lets up. I wouldn't recommend doing it now. Tell me about the amulet. 
called Thor's hammer. It protects us while at sea. But it can only protect you for so long if you said so now. Good luck, warrior. Let's see what's in that barricaded cave. Perhaps that's how the gunpowder comes in handy. Boom! One of the torches has been lit. Maybe there's something in here. Unfortunately, the amount of time I have in this cave, the amount of time I have in this cave lasts until the torch runs out. So I can't fall in the water or dawdle for too long. The golden vase. The bo the very vase stolen from the treasury. Nope. We're heading back to Delphi. Good to be back where I started. I have the golden vase. Please don't accuse me of theft. Thank you. As a reward, you may speak to the oracle on the hill. Thank you. As a reward, you may speak to the oracle on the hill. Thank you. As a reward, you may speak to the oracle on the hill. The hospitality here is excellent. Stoa of the Athenians. Might have to look into that. Greece was divided into city-states and Delphi and Athens are separate cities with their di with different countries. Each city is its own country, in other words. For example, Athens and Sparta were always at war with each other. So peaceful and so bright in here. It doesn't show the translation for some reason. But I'm willing to guess it's Apollo. Yeah, it's not cooperating. Who are you? I am the Oracle of Delphi. What do you do? I prophesize. I can help you know what to do. Or predict the future. Please help me. I see our golden vase inside a sealed cave that must be blown open. I see a bear of explosive powder near a great stone wall. So basically, if you don't have every, basically, if you haven't returned the items to their proper eras yet and returned the golden vase first, then the Oracle of Delphi would give you, would give players hints about where they would find them, allowing them to make the uh, navigating the island a little easier but here since i'm already done the oracle is of no is of no use and i am free to return to the lab Take me outside the lab. Something's wrong over at Pendulum's lab. Actually, everything might be just okay. Everything might be okay now. Oh look, there's a newspaper. His legs aren't cropped out. 
but I guess I can read it okay. Professor Pendulum enjoys some time off on Sharktooth Island. Mm, bad time to leave your assistants in charge. After years of research and countless barriers, Professor Peter P. Pendulum has successfully created two time machines. One is a high-tech pocket watch that allows its owner to travel back in time. The other is a giant machine that will send a person into the future. To celebrate his success, the professor has decided to take a much-needed vacation to Sharktooth Island. In his absence, he has left his lab in charge of his assistants. In the charge of his assistants. Big mistake. Big mistakes because the timeline is out of whack, was out of whack, and it was fixed thanks to me. I can't fly. It's still stuck at two o'clock. What the heck? It's a small city, but it has a nice beach. A very tiny beach. Come on, little crap. Go left? What for? I don't know why Chartreuse Island is not ported to this version of Hot Tropic Egg quite yet. I hope they do in the future. That would be so cool. And it would be just what my the teenager in me needs. It appears that you've repaired the past. Now travel to the future to make sure. How do I operate the machine? Power it up and step inside. It doesn't look like his dialogue has changed. It appears that you've repaired the past. Now travel to the future to make sure. Okie dokie. There we go. Here I go. She is looking so much brighter now. Hello, girl burger. You're looking youthful today. Heading back up to your sky home? Why did he say I look youthful? Oh! It's because I'm in the future. People think I'm... People there think that I've dragged the fountain of youth or something. Or tried some cosmetic that made me look younger. I mean, that is a thing. Are you lost again? You have to ride the monorails and the hover platform to get back to your sky home. And something like this, either I'm a celebrity or they're friends of mine. The monorail will be here any second, and I'm about to miss it. Wind power tower. So much better than nuclear than a nuclear waste plant. Geothermal Energy Incorporated. Solar tower. I like what I see. Going up? Indeed I am. I love it. Stop following me around. Actually, I would like a drink. Sorry, I'm being... Sorry, I'm just weary from all that traveling. Do 
fusion, corn, ethno. So it's corn power too. That's impressive. Welcome home. I've been waiting for you. Take this gold medallion. You've earned it. Thank you. Who are you? I'm you, 50 years in the future. So the future has been saved? You've done your part, but people all around the world have a large part to play too. Such as reducing their carbon emissions, by, for, such as reducing their carbon footprint by turning off their laptop when they're not using it. Using it or... Or not taking a car, or not taking a car, or not owning a car. For example, I don't have my driver's license. For a couple of reasons. One, I tried it once and I get I got horrific anxiety from being behind the wheel and I'm terrified of car accidents getting into getting and being involved in a car accident. And B and B gas prices are already astronomically high and I don't wanna spend a spend a fortune trying to keep a tank full. cleaner for the environment to take a bus anyway. I finished, since I finished the storyline, I probably won't be needing these wings anymore. They won't work outside this island. The other reason I thought about people having a large part to play is to advocate for... is to is to raise awareness of global warming and advo and advocate for more eco for more eco friendly eco friendly ways to live comfortably. Like Greta Thunberg, Greta Thunberg had became an international icon after protesting outside of a government building, and now she's a public speaker. She gets a lot of flack from conservatives, but I admire her bravery. Now back to Home Island to see what the what this commotion is about. What the commotion I saw earlier is about. The music has definitely changed. Is that Castlevania in the background? Her Royal Highness requests you board the ship. She's come to hunt the Green Menace. Who, the Baroness that disappeared a month ago? I want to look around first. Thankfully, not an ad to be found, which is a good sign.
Where am I seeing? Oh my god. Oh, that dress is cute. Red Queen ha Queen's Halloween 6 Costume Contest winners. So awesome that the Pop Tropica team is getting the community involved. Oh wow! These are all adorable! Is that a... Uh... Ew, do I really want to know? The green coward has fled! Have you come to s save the Baron? I've returned to crush the green weasel that's absconded with the princess as I should have years ago. I'll rid this world of chaos and my pretty shall feast upon his bones. Where are you returning from? My great conquest of the outer planet stopping out the last of the resistance. Mm. Surely whoever freed the beast must be working with the last of the astronauts. Uh, why do I have a feeling she'll be a threat later on? What will happen to the Baron? I'll stop at nothing to return order to this in all worlds. The princess, or should I say, common pirate, won't stand in my way. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll leave you to it then. And the plot thickens. to check out one more thing. And Miss Evil Warrior Princess? I, I bid you farewell. Thanks for having me. That must be her outside. this? Hmm. Wonder what exactly was the purpose of these horns? Is it also a way to send signals to other ships? Earn credits! Now this should be fun. Smash! Dodge, grab, clear the land. Smash into skeletons and collect salvage for a high score. Help first mate act, clear the land for the Baron. So basically, I'm gonna fight the undead. It didn't do so well. I'll try again. This is actually a fun mini game. How can a blue? not a plane, it's a bulldozer. Okay, third time's a charm. Hopefully I'll do better this time.
Oh boy. Okay, 50 points better, but I'll try again. with that score. What's going on here? The great Red Queen of Fairy Tale, conqueror of seven systems, has returned to slay the beast once and for all. The beast? You mean Rumpel? Hush! You mean to, you mustn't say the beast's name. Sounds like a lot more trouble than he's worth. How does she plan to do that? We call it hammer time. She'll see you in the cabin. Um, maybe some other time. Now that's reassuring music. Now what's on the agenda for this month? <laughs> Membership. What do the coolest things have to be member have to be for members only? I don't get it. That looks cute. Oh, dang it! Welcome to the store. How can I help you? I'm just looking around. Thank you. Come back any time. Actually, I'll just stay up here for tea. Tea, and we'll get your pony collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. I hope you have a good rest of your weekend. Have a good night.